Hey all, Black Sparrow here for Yak About a Yak. This is one of the greatest kayak carts I've ever made for myself. But guess what? Do not make this kayak cart. Not the way I did. Let me tell you what I did right. Let me tell you what not to do. Stay tuned. Catch you on the flip side. So, kayak cart. I'm not gonna teach you how to make the kayak cart. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below to the instructions that I followed. Here's what I did though. I made everything out of three quarter inch CPBC. It worked great for about a year, year and a half. Then I hit a couple of rocks. And then what happened when I hit the rocks? It broke right there, right there. Now, luckily, I had actually just got my kayak to the spot that I needed to go. I just tried to get it a little bit closer to the water, went over one last rock, one last bump, kaboom, everything fell apart. The whole thing came down, crashing, my kayak fell down, but luckily it was already near the water, so no harm done. But guess what? These three quarter inch tees, they're not strong enough. My kayak is about a 50 pound kayak, but then I load it up with all my gear, maybe about an extra 50 pounds. I've got a battery, I've got an encoder motor, I've got a few other things. So now I'm pulling about 100 pounds worth of gear. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to retrofit this kayak cart with one inch PVC fittings. So I'm going to just cut it off here and here. I got a three quarter to one inch coupling. That fits nicely right inside the T. That's going to go in place there. I'm going to fabricate a new piece that goes on top and reuse the existing pool noodles as cushions, fit it all together, and let's see how it turns out. Now, one of the things I'm going to show you is how it breaks down. This is what I do love about this kayak car. Now, remember this side here is broken off, but you get the idea. These top pieces are loose. Okay, you don't glue these in. You can for extra stability, extra rigidity, but you don't have to. Keeping them loose allows you to take this apart, take your stick apart, and then the wheels. I used wheels off of a golf, a golf cart caddy and uh, just found a old golf cart caddy at a local thrift store. But what I love about these wheels is they're so lightweight and they're very broad. Uh, they're about two and a half inches wide there. What's the benefit of that as opposed to um, a more sturdy wheel, a uh, $10 wheel that you get at like a PB Mark or uh, a TSE or Rona or somewhere? These wheels very lightweight and they come with a quick disconnect. So that allows you to take that off quickly, take the whole other wheel off quickly, and then look at how it all folds down, just like that. Very simple. So you can take that, shove it up in the front of your kayak or in the back, wherever you might have some, a little bit of extra storage. You really don't need that much storage for this. So that's what I do love about this. Look at this piece here. It is so lightweight, so easy to throw in the back of the kayak. So I'm gonna cut it off here and here, and we're gonna retrofit it. One of the other features is this 
rod here. Now you ask yourself, why do you need that on the kayak cart? You, you put the kayak cart underneath the kayak. Well, in getting it underneath the kayak, the rod allows you to push it under or pull it out, position it exactly where you want. That's very handy when there's just one of you there to lift the kayak up by the back handle and push that in underneath. So the rod, very handy feature. All right, so let's take my piece here and through the magic of the camera, let's give it a cut. There we go. I cut it off. Now what did I leave? I left three quarter inch because I'm going into a three quarter inch coupling here. One inch on the top, put that in, stick that in like that. All right, now we take our one inch pieces, one inch T's, and now we need the connecting piece. So let's do the measurement here. This is 25 centimeters across. Now, with a one inch coupling, there is one inch of pipe that's gonna go inside the PVC T. So again, through the magic of film, let's make our cut and get our piece here. So we can stick it into, the best way to do it is to stick it in this side, stick it in this side, there we go. So you're going to want to play around with these pieces until they fit just perfectly. Once they do, again, you can line them up. Now everything is nice and square again. Remember this center piece here. Do not glue this so that you can rotate it down. As you can rotate it down for your bar to connect into, like that. So now we can take our axle, thread it back, line that up just right. There we go. Put the top part on, which is the other wheel. Tighten her up. Okay, now we're ready to rock with the top pieces. There we go. So, remember inside here is one inch, inside here is one inch. So I want to cut off a couple of pieces, two inches, so that I can mount these on the top. And we'll make some magic. There we go. Got our two two inch pieces cut. Put them into our T's, like so. Give them a little hit. Drive them in there. Okay, and now she's ready to mount on the top. One and two. Give that a little hit, and a little hit. Starting to look like it's back in business again already. All right, so these pieces here are, get a measuring tape, eight inches. Okay, now I pulled off the two top tees, make it easier to put the pieces on. Now again, we'll work our magic, make our magic cuts. There we go. So we'll stick one on that side, one on that side, one there, and one there. Put that together. Put that together. And now we have our top pieces, all ready to go. Get our 
foam. Now, these were pushed into three quarter inch tubes. I gotta push them into one quarter. So it's gonna take a little bit of work to rework them on a one inch piece. So guys, another lesson learned. You're gonna need bigger pool noodles to fit on a one inch piece of PVC because what's happening is I'm making a mess of this pool noodle. It's splitting, it's coring into the sides and um, it's starting to pop out the side when I'm doing this. See, like that. So I'm gonna have to get myself a couple of thicker pool noodles. It'll be worth it in the end though. Anyways, we put the tops on like that. The pool noodles actually just provide a little bit of extra cushioning, but they're not 100% necessary. Oh, there we go. A retrofit kayak cart. Now, one inch pieces in the critical joints will make that so much stronger. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. We've got our new kayak cart. I'll feature it in an upcoming episode next time I'm out at one of the lakes. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to my channel. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment, send me a question. Maybe I'll feature it in an upcoming episode. All right, till next time, this is Black Sparrow saying, take care.